Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today is a very different video for a very dismal and annoying reason. You see these drones in front of me, these are our drones. The Japanese government has decided to ground them, all of them, from June 20th. Flying them will be a crime. So let's talk about it. How did this come up, you ask? You know, effective on June 20th, the Japanese government put into effect the new revised law on UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. This is a mandatory registration of any UAVs, including drones like this one, hobby airplanes or helicopters. And without registering those flying machines, you will be violating the law which can cost you up to half a million yen and one year, I think it, and or one year imprisonment. You might be thinking, so what's the problem? Then register your drone and be done with it, right? I wish it would be that easy. You see, in order to register these drones, they must be fitted with a remote ID module or a system and without it, you can never register them. Now, there are drones that have built-in remote ID transmitters, and you could just register them online. We will talk about the online registration in a while, but the main problem is these DJI drones have no remote ID system fitted. I think there are, but some are not active, so they can be registered unless I buy a remote ID transmitter for each of them. So I look it up online. How much would a module be? And to put it in perspective, in fact, they are not cheap. The available ones are more expensive than this. And even as expensive as the Mavic Air 2. So how did the DJI, the biggest manufacturer of consumer drones in the world, react to this? Well, they put up a press release. I believe it was in June 21st, the next day after the effectiveness of the new law. DJI Japan Company Limited will start supporting the built-in remote ID function by updating the firmware for some models sold in Japan due to the mandatory registration of unmanned aerial vehicles that started on June 20th, 2022. Compatible models for the general drones, DJI Mini 3 Pro, Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Cine, DJI Mini 2, DJI Air 2 S. For commercial drones, Matrix 300, RTK, Matrix 30, and Matrix 30T. For the agricultural drones, Agras T30 and Agras T10. We are gradually working to upgrade the firmware of various compatible models. So please check here, including notes said. And then please check Ministry of Land Infrastructure and Transportation and Tourism website for details. And there, there is another interesting part of here. So it says other planned models are DJI FPB, Mavic Air 2. We plan to respond in sequence. Details will be announced on each product page of the DJI newsroom and official website in the future, not dated. So that's it from the DJI official website, DJI Japan. In the new updates that were released, I think on the 24th, these are already supported. I'm not sure how it will work. And hopefully the update for the Mavic Air 2 will become available soon, so I will try to register this. Now, this brings us to the registration online. I tried already, so I have a bit of an idea, I think, how convoluted the process is. First, you have to create an account. I already did create an account before and have registered uh, the Inspire and the Mavic Air on the MILT. 
it appears now that my registration have been cancelled i cannot find it due to the change of law but i did not receive any notification about it so i registered a new account i was able to do that with ease and that part making the account is the only easy one i think the rest is just staggeringly difficult so when i received my username from my email i tried to log in then i tried to register the mavic air 2 because at first i just thought that i can register it since it is a relatively new technology and i didn't know about the remote id requirement before i filled up all the details like my address took photos of my driver's license and suddenly the next field in the web application was asking if there is a fitted remote id system in my drone so i look it up with the choices there on the page and i can find anything from the dji i thought at first it was built in already then i just hit the no on the check boxes immediately when i hit the next button a sub screen appeared asking me if i'm trying to register a drone without a remote id equipment i hit yes and then went on to the next i didn't know that it was required i thought it would go to the next page but no it didn't instead it displayed an error message i didn't know what's the reason so i tried again and went back to the first page and i had to start over again filling up the form and then taking picture of my driver's license it didn't tell the source of the error so i tried again and had the same mistake or error i tried to read the next day all about it apparently the japanese agency have a list of remote id modules in consultation with the same businesses and i tried to look it up how much are these modules most of them are not even available yet at least in the marketplace that at the amazon online i don't know where to buy them if you are able to fit a remote id transmitter or module inside your drone and you are able to register so you will then wait for the access for the payment of the charges of course you have to pay and that's another burden given to us then if you are paid you will be issued an id you will then post the id to the body of your drones it's like a plate number then you will register that id on your remote id app and still after doing that you will finally get the right to fly your drone right but you will have to follow all the previous rules that are already put up i will try to register one of this if ever an update is coming hopefully but definitely this one this one and the phantom 3s is now granted and will become probably a permanent display in this office in japan if the government lay the law you have to follow or else you'll have a problem when you encounter a police or any law enforcement individual so i just think that this law is not good it's so sweeping that even those who follow the earlier guidelines they have to undergo this massive change again and that it will kill the hobby so this is just one of the things that has done without any consultation with the citizenry they consulted with the so-called expert and it's just i think wrong hopefully this will change in the future and that some of the users like the consumer ones the hobbyist ones will also have a voice in such regulations i just think that actually as i said before the drone hobby will die and the drone prices will go up and no normal person will be able to buy one because of the staggeringly difficult circumstances they have to go through and just doing the hobby so hopefully there will be changes in the future it will be 
I'm hoping that at least they will democratize the rules. That's just my take on it. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again on the next one. Goodbye.